Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a great week. Today we are going to run through five things that you should do today and once a year um, for your financial health. So the first thing um, today would be to check your credit report. Um, you have the ability to request your credit report from all three credit bureaus every year for free. Um, be careful though, um, if you search annual credit report in Google, you will come up with a bunch of results, most of which are not the official um, offering. So be sure to use the link that uh, goes through the FTC website. Um, this annualcreditreport.com is the one through the FTC uh, website. You can also call them or do a form that you mail in to ask for your credit report. So why would you do it? Um, make sure that you don't have accounts that you don't know about, that somebody has fraudulently opened in your name. Make sure that there isn't debt out there that you didn't know about. Um, definitely good to check those. A lot of your credit cards also will offer um, the service of showing you what your current credit score is and that will often have the data below that as well um, but this is just a good thing to do once a year next create or update your personal balance sheet we did a whole nother video about this um, a few months ago i'm going to link it up above um, but your personal balance sheet is a listing of all of the accounts that you have all of the debt that you have so all of your assets all of your liabilities um, all just in one place. Uh, with the listing of your accounts, you would want to list what the current balance is um, and what the current interest rate is. So you're looking for a few things. You're looking to make sure um, when you're updating year over year um, that your interest rates haven't gone up. With credit cards, a lot of them have, so this is a good opportunity to review that and make sure that you know what you're paying. Um, to make sure that your savings is increasing instead of decreasing, or if it's decreasing, that at least you know why you made a major purchase, perhaps. Um, it's also a good opportunity to check your beneficiaries and make sure that they are set, first of all, for all of your accounts, and that they are current. Um, it's helpful to have this list if something happens to you. Um, the person who is um, the executor of your estate would have that nice handy list of where all of your assets are um, so they can help track those down and get them um, administered appropriately. Um, your financial professional, if you have one, also would appreciate this list. Um, as a tax professional, what we look for is your balance of funds in, say, a Roth account versus a traditional account in saving for your retirement, um, and a few other things, so um, definitely helpful. Um, take the opportunity to review your budget and your spending, and I'm not talking about going through detailed line by line months worth of data, um, but at a minimum, review your most recent, say three months worth of bank statements and credit card statements. Are there any charges you don't recognize? Are there subscriptions you're not using anymore? Um, are you spending in line with where you'd like to go? So like we talked about, savings may be going up, may be going down if you made a big purchase. Um, you want those purchases to be aligned with your goals. And if you're not thinking about where you want to go, um, it's very easy to just spend all of the money and not think about it. So taking that once a year opportunity to look back and see where is the money going? Is it where I want it to go? It's a good thing to take the time to do if you're married, especially with your spouse, to look at that. Um, make sure you're both on the same page. Check your annual Social Security Administration statement. If you go to ssa.gov, they don't tend to mail these anymore, um, but once a year you can go and um, pull that as well. You can pull it as often as you want. It only updates once a year. Um, it will tell you um, all of the earnings that have been credited to your account and how much you may receive in retirement. And depending on how far or close you are from a retirement decision, that may be more or less relevant. But at a minimum, you want to make sure that your earnings were reported. If you're a W-2 earner, Social Security gets a copy of your W-2 and they should include your wages there. If you are self-employed, um, the um, Schedule C and Schedule SE as part of your federal income tax return 
also gets reported to Social Security. So your earnings should be there, whether you're self-employed or whether um, you are an employee. Um, but definitely good to check unless you're already retired. And then last, check your estate documents. So if you don't have any, go make the appointment to chat with an attorney to get that done. Um, really important at a minimum to have your power of attorney documents, um, healthcare and financial powers of attorney, so that if something happens to you, whether, um, you know, it may not be that you die, maybe that you become incapacitated. Um, you need to have those documents not only drawn up, but also correctly executed. Um, so if they're supposed to be notarized, make sure they're notarized so that they're valid when someone tries to step in to help you um, in the event that something has happened. Um, so it's just a quick rundown of five things um, to have on your list to do every year. Don't get overwhelmed. And if you can only do one, do one, but do something today to improve your financial health. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything that we should answer next week uh, in the tax realm. Um, and like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week.